This is mind blowing. They found crystals in human brains. Inside of the human brain, we have billions of magnetite crystals. Tiny alive crystals in our brains called magnetite. They quietly affect the connections that shape our lives. So we are kind of like magnet people, each with our special magnetic power from these alive crystals inside us. What do crystals do? They can pick up frequencies. We know that because Nikola Tesla, he created the first crystal set radio. Crystals are capable of picking up and transmitting frequencies that can be decoded and heard. Magnetite is an iron mineral and its name gives away its most fascinating characteristic. Magnetite stands out as Earth's most magnetic naturally occurring mineral. But why would a magnetic mineral be present in our brains? Joseph Kirschring, a geobiologist from Caltech, proposes a potential explanation. Magnetite could be the key to our ability to sense Earth's magnetic field. Lots of animals from tiny bacteria to birds, turtles and bats have this cool skill. It's like a built-in compass that helps them know where they are. This power comes from feeling the Earth's magnetic field and we call it magnetoreception. Having this ability to find your way around on Earth is super useful, so it's no surprise that many creatures have it. Now, here's the interesting part. Until 2019, we weren't sure if us humans had this magnetic sense. But then a smart team led by Kirschwink did a study. They placed people in a room protected from outside magnetic interference. They changed the magnetic fields inside the room while monitoring the participants' brainwaves. What they discovered was a definite, measurable and repeatable impact on the strength of a specific type of brain activity called alpha waves. So basically, they put people in a lab with a big magnet and a cap on their head to see what their brain does. Then they moved the magnet around. The tiny crystals in the brain lined up with the magnet. This means we might be able to find our way using magnets, but we don't know it. In biology, they found three big brain cells in our skulls. They look like a spiky crown on a picture of Jesus with thorns. It's like a comparison because Jesus never really wore a thorn crown. The crown of thorns is in our heads. and it helps us think together at a high level along with the tiny crystals. Billy Carson explains this concept. Take a look. In biology, you discover there's three giant neurons wrapped around the inside of the skull and it looks like a crown of thorns on a scan. You heard about Jesus with the crown of thorns. It's, it's a metaphor because Jesus never put on a real crown of thorns. The crown of thorns is inside of each and every one of our skulls and it gives us the capability to collaborate to higher levels of consciousness along with the magnetite crystals. The piezo electric effect, a fascinating aspect of physics, revolves around materials that generate an electric charge in response to mechanical stress. When certain crystals like quartz are subjected to pressure or mechanical deformation, they produce a voltage across their surfaces. This phenomenon, known as the piezoelectric effect, has wide-ranging applications in various technologies. Crystals play a crucial role in modern technology through their application in various devices. The piezoelectric property of crystals are utilized in sensors, actuators, and resonators. In everyday life, piezoelectric crystals are integral components in devices like microphones, speakers, and quartz watches. In microphones, the crystals convert sound vibrations into electrical signals, while in speakers, the reverse process occurs where electrical signals generate vibrations to produce sound. Moreover, piezoelectric materials find applications in medical imaging where they contribute to the precision of ultrasound transducers. Additionally, advancements in energy harvesting leverage piezoelectric crystals to convert mechanical vibrations or movements into electrical energy, offering potential solutions for powering small electronic devices or sensors in remote locations. So, a stone found in nature has all these properties. In essence, the Quartz crystal can be seen as a natural translator of the law of vibration. Now, pay close attention. Billy Carson continues to explain the power of crystals and their presence in the pineal gland. The piezoelectric transmission is the same exact type of transmission that we utilize in radios, right? So piezoelectric, that was what Nikola Tesla and many other people in, in the olden days when developing these radio sets, these crystal set radios, they were using that piezoelectric technique. And so what's happening is when you put pressure on a crystal, it sparks energy. It gives off a spark of energy. And so, for example, if anyone here has a lighter, when you strike the lighter, what's in that lighter when you press that button and you flick it is a crystal. There's a crystal in all lighters. 
And when you put pressure on it with that device, that little thumb thing that you flick down, it creates pressure on the crystal and the crystal releases a spark of energy. And then the gas that's in it, and it lights up on fire because the crystal has sparked. That's the metaphor for what's happening in your mind, even with the pineal gland, which is made of crystals. And so you have crystals in your brain, you have crystals in your pineal gland. The, the pineal gland is primarily all crystal. And when you put pressure on it, it's gonna spark. That's how people have a Kundalini awakening. But another thing happens, there's a frequency being transmitted through piezoelectric mode that send out not only into space, but all throughout your body. Every cell in your body picks up this frequency or this message. And depending on the state of mind that you're in, it's going to interact with your cells and create either dis-ease, which turns into disease, or it's going to create ease. It's up to the conscious thought. So there's a transmission, even when you're not speaking, that's coming from the brain and these crystals that's going to wash down through your body and wash down through your DNA. And it's all about your conscious thoughts. Your cells can hear your thoughts because of this piezoelectric transmission that's happening inside the body. As we continue to follow Billy's research on crystals, I was amazed by what I discovered. Let me explain. A crystal is a solid substance that has a naturally occurring geometrically regular form with symmetrically arranged plane faces. However, crystals are not just a group of molecules or atoms. Each one has unique characteristics and comes in different shapes and sizes. The composites that make up a crystal determine how they form. Crystals are fascinating structures that can form in various shapes and sizes depending on the elements they are made of. For instance, if the crystal is formed from salt, then its shape will be a cube. However, if it is made from different elements like carbon, it can take various forms like diamonds, rubies, and many others. Carbon crystals in particular are widely utilized in our everyday lives, especially in technology and energy generation. They're used to cut gemstones, provide electricity to homes and businesses, and even in the piezoelectric method where they can be tapped for electricity using mechanical energy. To observe the formation of crystals with your own eyes, you can conduct a simple experiment at home by adding a small amount of table salt to tap water and waiting for 24 hours. The water will evaporate, causing the atoms to come together and form cube-shaped crystals that can be seen with the naked eye. Crystals possess the unique property of producing an electric spark under pressure, which makes them an essential component of everyday items such as lighters, gas grill ignition buttons, and push button start fireplaces. Fractals, on the other hand, are geometric figures that have the same statistical characteristics as a whole. They are essential in modeling structures from digital structures to massive physical ones. Fractals can be found in various natural patterns such as snowflakes and eroded coastlines as well as in crystals. The relationship between crystals and fractals is due to their repetitive pattern that is consistent throughout the structure. This unique property makes makes them an exciting subject to study and understand better. Fractals are a fascinating natural phenomenon that exhibit a repeating pattern in a mathematical set. Fractals can be found almost everywhere in nature, from the intricate branching of trees to the shape of snowflakes. Moreover, fractals can also be found in our lungs and blood vessels, which exhibit a similar branching pattern. Benoit Mandelbrot, a well-known mathematician, discovered the formula for fractals. This formula is now popularly known as the Mandelbrot set. When calculated and graphed on the complex plane, this intricate mathematical equation displays a detailed boundary that remains complex at any level of magnification. This complex boundary is what classifies the Mandelbrot set as a fractal. The Mandelbrot set has become a popular mathematical tool and aesthetic appeal for complicated structures arising from simple definitions. For example, video games can use fractal geometry to create sophisticated landscapes. No Man's Sky is a popular video game that uses fractals to generate over 80 billion inhabited worlds and endless adventures on something in the size the DVD. In addition to man-made examples, fractals can also be found in nature. The branching pattern of blood vessels is one of the most impressive examples of fractals branching in our bodies. It is interesting to note that our bodies are inherently connected to nature and exhibit fractal patterns. The human body is a marvel of nature, with its complex and intricate systems working together to keep us alive and healthy. One of the most fascinating aspects of the body is the fractal branching network of blood vessels that deliver oxygen and nutrients to every cell. This network is made up of blood vessels that branch out in a 
repeating pattern, getting smaller and smaller each time they branch. This fractal pattern is found throughout nature, from the branching of trees to the formation of snowflakes. Humans have approximately 150,000 kilometers of blood vessels, enough to circle the Earth several times. This network is designed to maximize the surface area available for gas exchange, allowing oxygen to be efficiently delivered to every cell in the body. The fractal properties of the blood vessel network help to ensure that no cell is too far away from a blood vessel, improving our overall health and well-being. One of the most striking examples of fractal design in the human body can be seen in the lungs. The lungs are made up of a complex network of airways and blood vessels that resemble the branches of a tree. This fractal branching pattern allows for the efficient exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide, keeping our bodies functioning properly. The golden ratio, a mathematical concept that has been used in art and architecture for centuries, can also be seen in the human body. Many of the organs and structures in our bodies are proportioned according to the golden ratio, which is found in everything from the spiral patterns of seashells to the growth patterns of plants. The human lungs are capable of absorbing oxygen through a process called osmosis, thanks to the fractal pattern present in them. This pattern helps the lungs absorb more oxygen and distribute it throughout the blood vessels, without requiring the lungs to be many times their current size. Without the fractal pattern, Breathing would be much more difficult, similar to that of a 20-year-old cigarette smoker. The human brain is also full of fractals, with billions of magnetite crystals and approximately 100 billion neurons. The brain cells are connected by an estimated 100 trillion synapses, which resemble the entire universe when viewed from a different perspective. This is a fascinating discovery that has led to complex theories about the origin of the world, which humans have been seeking for as long as we have existed. Everything in the universe is vibrational energy, influencing both body functions and mental processes, affecting brainwaves vibrations. Brain waves change at specific frequencies, altering our consciousness from high to low, like having a high or low frequency. At a high frequency, you supposedly sync with the universe. At a low frequency, you're not as in tune as you should be. Specific brain waves include gamma waves for inspiration and focus at 40 Hz, beta waves for alertness, concentration and cognition ranging from 13 to 40 Hz, alpha waves for visualization, relaxation and creativity at 7 to 13 Hertz, theta waves for meditation, intuition and memory at 4 to 7 Hz, and delta waves for detached awareness, healing and sleep at 4 Hz. This theory suggests thoughts and emotions are energies influencing emotional well-being, dictating physical reactions and shaping how we perceive the world through our minds. Every time you think and feel, your brain waves emit vibrations that send out a sound frequency outside the range of human hearing. This sound resonates in the universe, taking random particles and turning them into astonishing forms which can become matter. This is known as cymatics. According to the ancients, the human body has power nodes known as the chakra system. But according to those same ancients, crystals can synchronize with these power nodes in the human body, helping to give you alignment, spiritual alignment and physical alignment. These are things that you can utilize in your real life as well as the unseen. Let's take a look at some of these crystals that they talk about. The first one is black obsidian. This crystal is supposed to help you fall asleep better if you put it in your pillowcase or on your nightstand. It's also supposed to help you decrease compress and ground yourself, making you feel very relaxed at the end of the day. The next crystal is carnelian, which is known to provide emotional support for the female reproductive system. If you're having female reproductive issues, some women like to put a piece of carnelian close to their body, maybe on a necklace or in a bracelet, and carry it around with them all the time. A powerful way to benefit from the power of crystals is to drink water from a bottle with crystals in it, like this one. I've already talked about it in other videos, but you can find more details in the description description below. Crystals can be a powerful tool to help improve physical and mental well-being. One such crystal is citrine, which is widely used by entrepreneurs and business people to recognize their personal power, boost self-confidence, establish healthy boundaries, and balance the yin and the yang. Citrine is a very popular crystal that's often seen carried by many people. It is a yellow or orange variety of quartz that is often associated with success, 
abundance and positivity. Citrine is believed to stimulate the solar plexus chakra, which is located in the upper abdomen and is associated with confidence, self-esteem and personal power. Another crystal that is popular for its positive energy is rose quartz. It is often referred to as the love stone and is associated with the heart chakra. Rose quartz promotes self-love, love for others and unconditional love. It also enhances emotional balance, restores confidence and helps with stress relief. This crystal has a gentle pink color and vibrates at a frequency of 528 hertz, which is said to be a healing frequency that can balance the body and mind. Lastly, Lapis lazuli is another famous crystal that has been used for centuries. It is a deep blue color and has been found in ancient Sumerian tablets. Lapis lazuli is believed to stimulate the third eye chakra, which is associated with intuition, wisdom and spiritual awareness. This crystal is believed to help with emotional balance, stress relief and communication. It can also be used to promote spiritual growth, enhance meditation and improve memory and concentration. In the Epic of Gilgamesh, an ancient Sumerian cuneiform writing that can be found in the British Museum, there's a mention of the importance of talking about one's thoughts and feelings. This idea has also been incorporated into modern religions texts such as the Bible. Lapis lazuli is a crystal that enhances the throat chakra, promoting the ability to speak truthfully and confidently. Clear quartz crystal, on the other hand, is known as a master healer and is associated with the seventh chakra, which is located at the crown of the head. It amplifies the energy, thoughts and vibrations of other crystals, making it a great addition to any collection. Clear quartz is also believed to help connect individuals with their intuition and spiritual guides. Amethyst is a popular crystal that is often found in crystal stores or department stores due to its ability to get rid of negative energy. It is associated with the third eye or sixth chakra and is a high vibrational stone that can help individuals connect with higher planes of existence. In addition to eliminating negative energy, amethyst can also help individuals better understand their intuition. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's episode. I hope you found it informative and engaging. As we wrap up, I would like to hear more about your personal experiences with crystals. Have you used them for their healing properties? Have they helped you in any way? Have you ever consumed water from bottles that contain crystals in them? Whatever it is, I'm all ears and would appreciate any insights you can provide. Thank you.